Hi, my name is Gina from Ebola Gina, and today we're going to be talking about pomegranates. Pomegranates are considered a superfood because they're jam-packed with antioxidants. They also contain minerals like calcium, copper, potassium, and manganese, and vitamins. For vitamins, a single pomegranate contains 30% of the food you need in a day, which is important for cell production. It also contains 60% of your recommended intake of vitamin K, which is important for improving your bone and blood health, and contains 50% of the vitamin C you should have in a day. Vitamin C is important for enhancing your immune system and also for improving the absorption of iron and antioxidants. In addition, pomegranates have anti-inflammatory properties. So with all these benefits, of course you're going to want to enjoy one. So how do you pick one? When you're at a grocery store, you want to choose one that has a smooth surface. It's okay if the coloring is uneven, but the surface should be free of any cracks and shouldn't feel dry or leathery. A denser, heavier pomegranate also tends to be juicier and contain more arrows. Once you've purchased your pomegranate, you can keep it at room temperature out of direct sunlight for about five to eight days, or you can refrigerate it for up to two months. The arrows which are the little seeds inside the pomegranate, also freeze very well. You can keep them in your freezer in a freezer safe Tupperware for up to six months. So now that you have your pomegranate, how do you open it to enjoy? Well, I'm gonna show you two different techniques for opening and enjoying your pomegranate. The first thing I'm going to show you requires no water, just a wooden spoon and a knife to cut open your pomegranate. You're going to take the knife and gently score all the way around the pomegranate. By scoring it, rather than just cutting it in half, you are not losing any of the pomegranate arrows. Once you have scored it, you're going to gently try to open it. And you'll see the seeds. I'm gonna take the one half and gently loosen it around the edges. Now I'm going to turn it over, take my wooden spoon and just smack it all around. You can hold it on the sides or you can put your hand underneath it as you smack. So you can see I got most of the arrows into the bowl leaving the rind and the membrane. The rind contains a lot of tannins when eaten in large quantity causes stomach upset. And the membrane is what the arrows are closely attached to or cling to. I'm now going to show you a second method for opening your pomegranate that requires a bowl with water. Using the other half of the pomegranate, I'm going to show you the second method. I have my bowl of water here which is about room temperature in the other half of my pomegranate. I am going to put the pomegranate upside down in the water and gently break it apart into segments. I am then going to massage the arrows out of the membrane. Any membrane that gets detached will float to the top. So you'll see the arrows sink to the bottom and the membrane floats to the top. So you can, if any arrows are still attached, you can gently remove them. And then just continue to massage the arrows. Once I have all the arrows, I can take the piece out, put it to the side, and repeat with the last segment. I now will just scoop up the larger part portions of the membrane that have floated to the top to throw out. And now I would gently take the bowl to the sink to pour out the water, keeping the arrows in the bowl, and then enjoy or save for later. I hope you've enjoyed learning these two methods for opening a pomegranate. 
Whip and throw them in your salad, blend them into a smoothie, enjoy on top of your yogurt, bake with, or just eat by themselves. I hope you enjoy your pomegranate as much as I do.